Hi there. So today we'll discuss um, the possibility to add more than one line into the uh, geom line using the ggplot2 package. So first of all, we need to make sure we have the package. We need to install it uh, if we need it. I don't need it because I have it already installed. Then I need we need to run the, the library to call the library ggplot2. And then uh, um, I'm going to start a, a very small database uh, with four uh, variables. One would be years going from 2010 all the way up to 2014. Then to survey growth uh, with random numbers, also survey growth two, and eventually world growth. All of these variables will be wrapped up into a single data frame called uh, total users. So first, let's do this. So everything is uh, done. And we have the total users uh, database. Um, it's a small database. It's consisted like this. And that'll be our, our, our database for this, uh, for this matter. And then we uh, run the ggplot uh, command. So the ggplot command, eventually, this would be the final result. So we can see, if we zoom in, uh, we can see that we have three lines, uh, one uh, after the other. Uh, and each one of the, those lines uh, gets a special label. Uh, so that actually, it, in a certain way, um, with this, there's no need uh, in a legend, basically, because I can locate those labels wherever I want. I can give them the, the attributes uh, which I desire. And that makes the whole uh, issue much easier than dealing with the whole uh, legend thing. So this is uh, what we're going to create. And basically, uh, we're starting from the ggplot2. Uh, I'm sorry, ggplot. Within the, within the uh, first parentheses, I'm going to just define the data. And then I'm going to start with the geom line. Within the geom line, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to define uh within the aesthetics uh the x and the y values and then i'm going to define outside of the ex uh, aesthetics the size and the color and then i'm going to use the annotate uh with the annotate uh command i actually can uh, add a text field i can locate it based upon uh that would be um, the x value and the y value and of course i need to give the label and then I can also define the color. So obviously the color would be um, would be similar to the color of the line because it needs to make sense. But uh, I, everything can be defined. Now afterwards I'm going to define the second geom line, the second line. I'm not going to do the ggplot. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to write this again. I'm writing this only once. So the next geom line gives me uh, again the years and y would be uh, the survey growth. And also I'm defining the size and the color. And I'm also defining the annotation in the very same uh, fashion that we've, we've just done for the first geom line. Afterwards, I'm going to define the third geom line. It starts here. Um, and in the end, after uh, the, G the third geom line and the annotation are done, uh, we're adding the GG title. So I'm adding the GG title. I'm giving the, the title. And also I'm defining the... Um, the labels of the x and y uh, axis. So eventually, uh, this is what we get. It's very easy to manipulate. It's very easy to move around. If I'm not happy with the um, with the labels. I can move it around. I can play with it. I can play with all, all the other attributes of the of the uh, annotations and also the lines. So uh, thank you for listening. Hope you learned from this. Have a good day and see you in the next uh, video.